hi everyone uh, this is Mohammad Sharuk and in today's video of Revit we are going to see how to create a room tag that calculates room dimension automatically so to start with we go for a new project and we select metric architectural template select OK and let's create a random floor plan with let's take an example we'll try to create a four or three rooms so let's take a wall of 10,000 mm in length and then another one in let's take an example 7,000 mm and then we close the room and let's just switch off this elevation views so we just type VG for visibility graphics go for annotation categories and then select elevation and uncheck this apply okay and zoom fit now let's some um, uh, this is our outer walls let's create some internal walls so let's take a wall and take an example again okay, I don't want it from the middle so just let's take it for example somewhere from here <coughs> so one wall here and let's take an example just we'll create one wall somewhere here so now we can see you can see we have four walls present here so one two three four and let's for our reference we, uh, what we can do we can try to put some dimensions so just take a line dimension and then from I want it from face to face oops so just take select one face press tab select another face so there's 3700 millimeter press tab another one press tab 2700 let's put for this one again it's going to be 2700 okay so no need to put it let's take it and put for this particular room 5900 let's come here and this is around 3900 and then we go for okay for the length so press tab and then select here okay and another width for this particular room so as you can see we have four rooms present here with this particular dimensions so now to put a room tag what you need is actually actually a room so to put a room we go for architecture and here you will find something called room the shortcut for room is RM so you just select RM room now right now I have unchecked this tag on placement so what will do it will just put a room here one two three and then four now the moment you press escape you see what happened actually you can't see this reference colors in the reference line so to make it active you can go for VG visibility graphics and then you go for room and then you just expand this room and just check mark on the interior fill we don't need the reference for a while so just make it apply and then okay so you can see this colors here now the next step is we need to add a room here now uh, we need to add a tag so when you go for tag room Revit automatically provides you with three tags so room tag room tag with area and room tag with volume now what we need is we need a room tag which with the room dimensions which is not present so for this what we do right now we just select room tag with area room or simply you can select a room tag and then just use start put it in uh, put in the room one two and three and then four now if you want to just small this uh, make it uh, this room tag it looks a little smaller you can just go to view scale and make it one is to 50 so that looks much better now in order to edit this room room tag we just double click this and open it in the family all right so now then our next step is we just select this and make so as you can see we are right now in a family environment okay so this family is specifically for the tags so you just select room I can press control and just move it down and we we'll make it as a copy now next what we do we try to edit this label so just select this room name and edit label now here as you can see here we have only room name present so we don't want to show room name here instead we want to show the dimensions of the 
room so the in terms of length and width so first of all now you won't find any option called length or width here in the categories so for that we need to create a function so let's go for function we'll name it as length l e n g d h now you need to take care of the small letters and the caps letter because it is case sensitive display will keep it as common type we keep it as will use it as a length now for the formula I have created a formula here which I will give it in the description so that you can directly copy paste so for the length we just copy this it's easy and you can derive it very well so I'll not go to say uh, to the derivation method and you just put and paste it here and then click OK now for the width we create another function take care I'm using capital W here discipline common and type here again you're going to keep it length only because there is no type called width now for formula now you can easily derive its area divided by length I mentioned it here itself <coughs> click OK <coughs> Once this is done, click OK here. Now what I can do, I can save this tag as a separate tag. So just file save as family and I can go to desktop. So let's for example, mroom tag underscore dim01 dim for example. Just save it and load it into the project. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just replace this tags with my new tag. So I'll go to architecture, room tag, tag room, and then from the property from the tab center, you just click on the drop down and you see you can see here M room tag with underscore dimension zero one. So I just select room tag and then you simply click on each of the room and you can see it is calculating and showing you the dimension of each room now we made one mistake uh, by the way uh, we need to show a cross here in between so we need to show it like a X so what we can do we can edit this family again if we, so we just double click this and then go to length and width select this click on edit label and here what we do in the width prefix we just type a uh, capital X and then put a space and then click OK that's it you save it again load it into the project and override the existing version and its parameter you're good to go now you can see this is it shows you the length and this shows you the width now if, as you know it's all everything is parametric so you can just select the wall and if I try to change the wall you can see automatically the dimensions got updated so I'll try to update it here again you see let's do some more changes just select move it you see so all of the dimensions are changing as per the updation so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I really hope uh, this is going to help you in your project